So friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In this video, I have invited Ayushi Bitkar, who recently got a job in Power BI as a fresher. So we'll discuss today about her journey. How did she reach to this position and got the job as a fresher in this market situation? So let's start the video. And if you're new to the channel, then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos. Hello, Ayushi. How are you? Hi, Sushant. I'm good. How are you? I'm also doing good. Uh, thanks for coming on to this podcast, and it will be very helpful session for all the audience who will be watching this video. Okay, yes. so uh, let's start with the first question. Uh, so, can you tell the audience about your educational background? When did you do the graduation, and uh, what exactly you did there? Okay, uh, I have completed my uh, diploma in computer science engineering. And my B in Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering. When did you pass out? Uh, August 2022. Okay. So after passing out in August 2022, like, uh, how did you got to know about this data analytics domain, and what what motivated you to come into this domain, basically? Because a lot of people nowadays are willing to come into this domain. So what was your source of motivation to come into this domain? Okay. Uh, so uh, during lockdown, I was exploring all the things what I can do. I completed my web development internship and then mm -hmm. started exploring uh, roles like uh, data scientist and all. I got to know about data scientist roles. Mm -hmm. So my interested me to uh, complete a uh, first data analysis skill and then uh, you can transition into data scientist role. So I started exploring what skills are required. So I got to know about Power BI and uh, from July so, 20th. Mm -hmm. So what all skills exactly you targeted to become a data analyst as a fresher? Okay, so firstly, uh, I completed a SQL project, which I uh, did from YouTube. And okay. uh, also, I, like, during uh, my, like, uh, when I was exploring, I have a few videos of Power BI. Okay. So, I completed that video, and then I started doing projects from YouTube okay. itself. So yeah, it was all about uh, learning Power BI at beginning. So you targeted SQL and Power BI, right? Uh, yes. SQL was, uh, I knew it from my diploma days, so I was comfortable with SQL. Mm -hmm. And Power BI I learned till uh, July, July, August. And you learned all these things from YouTube for free, right? Yes, yes, yes. You didn't take any kind of course from any platform, right? Uh, no, no, no. So, which source you uh, followed for learning Power BI from YouTube? Uh, there are multiple actually. Uh, three videos from YouTube. So, mm -hmm. I can share the link, but I can't remember now the name because we, uh, it was uh, last year I was learning Power BI. Mostly referred was Code Basics. Code Basics? Yeah. Okay, fine. So your learning period was around for three months, right? If, if I include SQL and Power BI. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So after graduation, like, uh, like, how did you uh, manage your uh, a kind of mental pressure that you had, right? Because you didn't have job. So for the three months, you were just learning SQL and Power BI. So how did you manage yourself during this time? So uh, I was in learning phase. So uh, just I was completing the uh, videos. At creating projects, doing projects. Like it took me eight months to get my first job. So uh, eight. Uh, How many months? Eight months. Yes, I kept learning, exploring, uh, interview questions. So demotivating. Yeah, I was demotivated. Uh, like eighty percent of the time. So for the first eight months, you just learned, learned every day, learned. Even after having demotivation, you keep you kept on learning, right? Yes. And just just kept on learning and had patience, right? Yes, yes. Okay, great. So, uh, friends, you can uh, hear from Ayesha that how, like, for, for the eight months, she continuously practiced, learned, and simultaneously applied also. And after eight months, she got the opportunity and in she cracked the interview. Right, Ayushi? Yes, yes, yes. So, that's a great uh, achievement, and everyone should be inspired from your journey, I believe. Yes, yes, yes. 
So can you tell the audience like how did you structure your resume? Because resume also plays a vital role in getting the job. So uh, I have created resume very simple. One page mm-hmm. resume. I've included my uh, basic details like my name, my education, just my engineering uh, education, graduation, last education, and also I've mentioned only four projects. Two uh, super power BI project. One was SQL project. and one was python which uh, i completed eda part in that project so, so two projects in power bi one project in sql and one project in python eda right yes so did you also create a project portfolio somewhere whenever i completed a complete like complete any project so mm-hmm. i used to then anyone who who visits my profile is able to uh, see all my projects so linkedin was my uh, kind of portfolio you can say So on the featured post, you kept all your uh, relevant uh, projects, right? So that if anyone comes onto your profile, they can see your work, right? So uh, and also like uh, the next question will be like, how did you started applying for the jobs? Apart from like apart from optimizing your LinkedIn profile, uh, what other steps did you do to apply for the jobs as a fresher in different companies? So uh, what I did was I completed my. Uh, project and then i started applying what i personally did was i used to cold email daily i used to add relevant people on linkedin they were like not responding and all the things so yeah it happened initially and then uh, like cold emailing is uh, what mm-hmm. i did in my journey i learned how to cold email people uh, 100% of my interviews i got from linkedin okay uh, which, like I just reach out to people, and uh, I used to just reach out to people, send my resume, send my uh, all the details, all my skill set, and yeah, I used to get interview calls. And so yeah. So what was the response rate like? If suppose uh, you pinged ten uh, people, so how many mm-hmm. people responded? Did so what kind of response rate was coming from the people? So okay, out of a uh, ten people, possibility. Mm-hmm. uh only one responded okay and max two people can respond if you send uh 10 messages 10 10 people uh messages and also i would like to mention that i was very precise uh like for my location i was looking for pune location i searched out all the companies from pune which uh, work with data analytics or data role mm-hmm. and targeted all that companies and mm-hmm. i had Managers, CEO, CTO, whatever the people, mm-hmm. and I used to reach out to them. Okay, so you yeah. search for your city. For example, you were in Pune. So you searched all the jobs in Pune, and then whichever yeah. jobs were coming, you just uh, targeted those co- people who were working in those companies, right? And and started uh, messaging them on LinkedIn, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. So how are you able to message them? Because uh, usually we we can't uh, message anyone if you are not connected with that person. So, so did did you use the in uh, premium feature of LinkedIn? Mm, it was just for one month, so I just took uh, the free version of uh, free, LinkedIn Premium, and later on I just uh, send them request. My luckily my request. Uh, was accepted by all the people because of my uh, like all the things were perfect on my LinkedIn profile. So I guess they they accepted my request and yeah yeah many people responded me many people gave me chance to interview and all things. Okay, great. So friends, you can uh, hear from Ayushi that if you are looking for a job in Power BI, so target your particular city in which you are. Okay, search for the jobs in that particular city. and target all those people who are working in those companies there are highly chances that you will get the response from one person out of 10 if you uh, if you ping 10 people out of that company okay and so ayushi uh, what about nokri.com so did you did you had application there also uh, nokri uh, didn't help me out of 10 applies i used to get uh, hardly one uh, reply from recruiter or there were no uh, reply from anyone from nokri even though i was having nokri premium profile okay so even though you had the nokri premium uh, feature still you were not able to get any single call right so guys you can uh, hear like even if you if you are going for the nokri premium feature 
which they say that uh, you will get more number of calls so you can hear that uh, she didn't get any response even after having a premium like uh, feature so you should not go for a premium feature that's what we can understand from her experience here what uh, data students can do is uh, if you find any job on uh, nobody.com or whatever uh, platform just get that company name or uh, most of times there is a uh, like mention that which who has posted this add that person on linkedin and uh, yeah we can do you can do that also so as a conclusion we can understand that if we have any kind of vacancy if we find it on nokri or if it is on linkedin we just we should keep on uh, pinging the people from those companies who are working there currently right and that is the best way or the the most efficient way of getting a interview call right Yes. And one more thing I wanted to ask, like I just forgot to ask, like what about uh, ATS scores? So, uh, like you used to consider your ATS score for your resume. A lot of mentors say that we should have more than eighty uh, percent ATS score in, for your resume. So, what what was your uh, scenario? So uh, I used some uh, website to check my ATS and my resume. So yeah, mm-hmm. I yeah that too for during yeah. during my uh, when i was applying for a job okay so what was your ats score it was 80 to 90% right right so friends if you have prepared your resume so check your ats score it should be uh, more than or equal to 80% so if it if you're if you're getting that score then your resume is uh, quite good to apply great so ayushi uh, my next question would be like uh, so it took 8 months to get your uh, first job So how did you do the preparation for SQL and Power BI because in the interviews SQL and Power BI are the the two skills on which it is uh, mostly asked so how did you prepare a SQL and Power BI specifically okay, so uh, i uh, prepared from your channel for Power BI and okay. uh, i referred ankit bansal's uh, youtube channel for uh, queries and uh, yeah he has posted pretty good uh, interview question so i used two youtube channels for my interview preparation okay so power bi you used my channel that is learn with gigs and for sql you used ankit bansal's channel on youtube right yes, yes, yes. great so friends you can also follow these two uh, channels for, for preparing for the power bi interviews power bi and sql okay fine so so now you have got uh, recruited so as a fresher like how are you manage, managing your work uh, on a day to day basis because uh, you don't have any prior experience so as a data analyst like what all challenges you are facing on a daily basis mm, so uh, i got job as junior technical consultant which uh, my role consists of working with power bi power power automate and sharepoint okay so been a month so i'm learning sharepoint uh, power and power automate Uh, okay great i have completed one uh, app in power app so as a fresher if you are going into any company so there is no pressure like thing right that you can manage the work right if you have the knowledge like i am totally uh, managing all things i am learning and completing my daily tasks like yeah there is no pressure as you are fresher like there will be no pressure okay there will be no pressure because lot of people have this doubt in their mind that uh what will happen if you are going as a fresher in any company as a data analyst for the data analyst position so from view from your experience we can see that it's fine we can manage the things right it will take some time but it will be fine for after some time right it's manageable yeah so uh, considering the market situation and the ongoing competition like what message would you what, would you like to give to all the freshers who are aspiring to be data analyst or power bi developers and this, this will be the last question for for this podcast Okay, so uh, like get your LinkedIn profile complete, like optimize it, do relevant posts, share your learnings, and uh, just don't take any kind of stress. Uh, like you, 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 sh- you should see my journey and like get motivated because it took me eight months after my graduation to crack my first job. uh it was a wonderful uh, uh, session, uh, Ayushi. Uh, I hope uh, the audience will. learn a lot from your experience and they will get inspired from your journey so thank you so much for uh, answering all the questions honestly and uh, 
Thanks for coming on this podcast. Thank you so much to invite me here.